Good morning, Atlantic Coast High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you, please be seated. It's Friday, February 3rd, and welcome to the Morning Rays. I'm Trayvon Wallace. And I'm Kyle Hedgeman. Let's get to the announcements. The Steam Rays baseball team will be having its annual Orange versus White inter-squad scrimmage this evening beginning at 5 o'clock. Come out and support this year's team. They're, they are less than two weeks away from their first preseason games. It's time for another Stingray student-athlete profile in honor of National Signing Day. Let's meet a talented football player who is taking his talents way up north. I'm Tyson Ellison, reporting from the Morning Rays. I'm here with Destin Campbell, who recently signed to play football at St. Norbert's College. Destin, why did you choose St. Norbert's? Um, I choose St. Norbert because I like the atmosphere, the people, the coaches. They really treated me like family. And I think treating me like family, uh, being so far away from home, I think that was a big thing for me. And they get a new uniform, so I like that. Oh, I see, I see. Um, for those who don't know, St. Norbert's in Wisconsin. Are you ready for the weather? Um, cold weather. I experienced it when I went for my plane that stopped in Chicago, and that was pretty cold. And then when I was in Wisconsin, it was like two degrees. So I kind of prepared myself. I got a big coat that I just ordered, so <laughs> I, <laughs> I should you. make it. Do you think you'll be homesick at all? Um, no, nah, I don't think I'd be homesick because they kind of, um, they give me some money so I can send my parents out to come watch me play. And I, um, they pay, pay full for everything for me to come back home, um, on Christmas and Thanksgiving. So I think that'd be pretty, pretty good for me. I'm just ready to go ball. Go Knights. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining us on the uh, Morning Rays. Happy birthday, Destin. And have a good day, man. Thank you. You too. Go Knights. Super Bowl 51 is just two days away. Kickoff between the Patriots and the Falcons scheduled for 6.30 p.m. this Sunday. In addition to watching the football game, many of you will be also interested, interested in the commercials and halftime show performed by Lady Gaga. Recently, the Morning Rays crew asked some students who they would choose to perform the halftime show. And here's what they had to say. If you could have anybody perform at the Super Bowl halftime show, who would it be and why? Uh, I'm going with Quavo and Migos because they're just raw. I have to say 21 Savage because he lit. I would have to say Drake because Drake's the GOAT. He's the sixth guy. I mean, I obviously think it'll be me. I think I should do it. <laughs> or I just think I should be the one. I can make me some cash and we can donate to the, the child youth. That's it. Yeah. And finally, February is Black History Month, but several Stingrays students have the chance to learn all about African American history for the entire second semester. Jasmine Smith takes, up, takes us inside a special class here at Atlantic Coast. Here at AC, there are a different range of history classes, from Holocaust to even a new class called African American Studies, taught by this man, Mr. Fleming. Before Atlantic Coast, I taught at a charter school on the north side of Jacksonville, helping students who had dropped out or were at risk of dropping out come back and graduate with their diploma. Because it is a new class, many students don't seem to know what this class is. Here's a description. African American history is really just the study of African, his uh, African Americans' history from Africa all the way to current day. Here's what Mr. Fleming hopes that students get from this class. How um, Africans migrated to the Americas, how they were enslaved, the system and the institution of slavery and how that has changed throughout the many years this country has been around. Be sure to sign up for this class next year. <laughs> Reporting from the Morning Rays, I'm Jasmine Smith. For the rest of the month, we will be highlighting influential African-American musicians beginning with today's choice, A Tribe Called Quest. This group is widely considered to be the pioneers in the rap music industry. Be sure to join us on Monday for our next Black History Spotlight. Those are all of our announcements for today. Have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. That way, the only way, the best way. <laughs>